What is up everybody, welcome back to another new Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. We are going to jump right into the tour after we make this new wand outfit. So I realized that since I'm doing island tours, and I know it's been like a month since I've done one, it's really been a while and I really feel like I need to get back into it. And so um, we're just going to change one of our outfits to it. Um, this is kind of summery outfit, um, white dad. And um, this one can stick around for fall. Quack needs to say, stay. Home Depot and staff need to stay. Of course, rainy and fishing. And Sir Micah. So I think we're going to get rid of this. And let's go ahead and make our sleepy dream outfit. We could have a bathrobe or the sleeping outfit. I think we're just going to go with the PJ outfit. Now let's see, what sleep mask? I'm thinking this one. Yeah. And you of course need to get some comfy socks on. Actually, now who goes to sleep in socks? What am I thinking? Um, I don't use my dowel slippers since you only get one of those. Dang, I have a lot of duplicate shoes. That's why my storage is full. Like, after this I'm filming a vibes video. And I'm, like, gonna be going through storage. I don't even think it's during the vibe video because that would just be boring and those are supposed to be unedited. Babushkas? Let's go with the babushkas. Uh, I'm gonna go dreamy. It was either gonna be dreamy or sleepy. Dreamy. Let's go ahead and change into dreamy then. And now let's go ahead and go dream. So I will see you at the island. Why didn't I think of this? No. Why did they give us wands and they're just like, nope, don't use them. Uh, great, we just made a outfit for nothing. All right, now we'll see you at the Dream Island. No duck. Yeah, let's see what this is about. Maybe it's something in like Japan or something or somewhere else that I'm not pronouncing right. Or it could just be like a funny thing with the O or something because it looks like a face. We don't know yet, but we will find out shortly. Also, why we connect, I got a new fish. Like, I just got it 20 minutes ago. It's a glowfish. And, um, please give me name suggestions below. Please. I don't know what to name it. You can do stupid names or whatever, I really don't care. It has now come to my attention that Streamlabs has once again messed up my audio. Thank you, Streamlabs, for always hating me and doing that to me. So I guess we're just going to voice over some stuff now, so let's go ahead and check out their design patterns. Only one design, but let's go ahead and check out their map. We have Dr. Kale, Kurt, Frida, Erock, Rudy, Ruby, Raymond, Stitches, Blanche, I believe it, Blancha, sounds like I'm saying Blanca, Soleil, I don't know her name, <laughs> and we of course also have Genji, Bay. Bayer and Pokey. I really don't know how to pronounce a lot of the Animal Crossing names, so let's go ahead by start by going left and we will check out their house first. So let's go ahead and walk right in. We can also see that they have a lot of flowers around their island. 
I think their main room looks very nice. It's very simple. I tend to overcomplicate my house because I see furniture and I just want to use it all. And that's one of the reasons that my storage is really full. You'll see in a Vibes video coming out hopefully tomorrow because I filmed it actually after doing this island tour. And in their right room, we see it's kind of just some miscellaneous things, a photo of Marshall and just some random things in this house. So I guess they kind of just, you know, wanted to place some furniture. This bathroom actually looks very nice. It's like, I like the ice wall and just like everything in it. It's like, it looks nice and I, my bathroom kind of looks like a normal bathroom, but this actually looks like very nice and um, kind of its own thing. In the left room, we see like a nice very bedroom and it looks like a very Japanese inspired, like the bed and stuff, the Imperial, I'm a fan of that set. And they also just have this random bell on a nightstand, which doesn't really make sense to me, but you do you. Upstairs here we see this nice music room with the drums, the marimba, electric guitar. I actually have a lot of these instruments just stored in my storage, but they're for other people and not for me. You can also find them on my Nagazan, the link's in the description. They did not have a basement yet, but now that we're outside, I like the little labels that they have for each house. Um, they do have like a lot of overgrown flowers on their island and it's kind of messy but it's kind of looks nice at the same time. There's not really any like pathways, it's kind of just miscellaneous things but it somehow looks kind of good. I also thought of this as Raymond's house because it looked familiar and I found it weird that he has pink curtains. It just doesn't seem like a Raymond thing. And we also see that they have the glitched trees I'm hoping like um, this is fine to put on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it is because it's glitched and not hacked. I have not done it on my island just because um, I don't really have a need for it. Now we also see this other person. Let's see who it is. It is Dr. Kale and he welcomes us. So thank you, Dr. Kale. I like it how they lined their pathways with the dirt path with flowers on them. I think that looks very nice. We can also just see other houses. And I, I think this island is kind of like Japanese inspired. They have a lot of Japanese villagers and houses. And I really like this lighthouse area, it's very cute. I kind of want to make one on my island, but I'm kind of debating against it. Now we can also go ahead and head up here just to see some more flowers. And then up here we have this really, really cute cafe and I really like it. And I kind of wish that we would have a cafe on our, our island, but we don't really have space for it. But maybe we will in the future. And then to the left we see Blanche or whoever the heck this is. Blanche, I really, I really don't know how to pronounce the name. We also just see this random rock wall again, kind of, th things are kind of scattered out. And we go up here to see Blanche Blanche, whoever it is, house. And down here is an extremely nice bamboo garden, like Zen. I really like the path and I really like want to get it, but it's not made by them. So I'll have to find one in the future on my own. We can also just see this little st skip thing and we see some more flowers and it goes to their campsite and I really like the hidden pathway to the secret beach and you can still jump over. This park is a little bit empty but I'm sure that's a work in progress. Um, we can see the satellite and it doesn't have the Nook Inc logo on it which I found weird. I don't think you can customize it so who knows maybe you need to have a certain color airport or something that determines that. Now that we're down here, we can go ahead and enter this guy's house. Um, it is a small house and we just noticed that it still has his camper stuff from it. The lights are off and the curtains are closed, so I'm assuming he just upgraded the house. Or maybe he just gave up playing in the beginning of the game. Or maybe he just started playing, or he or she, so that's it for this house. So let's go ahead and go back outside. We have actually reached the end of this island. We have done a full circle. I think it does look very nice. Um, some places could be a little more organized, but overall I rate this island um, four stars. Yeah, I think that's going to be a new thing where I start rating the islands at the end of the tours. So if you're watching this, Kale, Dr. Kale, or whoever is watching this, if you're on this island or you have seen it before, I give it four stars. 
And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm very sorry that audio got messed up so that I had to do voiceovers, but I'm glad that I was able to fix it and notice it. So I will see you guys later. Look out for that new vibes video that I'm about to um, film right after this. And I will see you guys later. Bye.